I'm Dara with the Healy Technology Report. I have this Edge Router, PoE 5, uh, brand new out of the box, or in 2019, but it's still got version uh, 1.2 on it, and uh, everything we do, it fails the upgrade. So we figured out how to upgrade version 1.2, which you definitely do not want to be on, uh, to the newer version. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so I've got an edge router here, uh, edge router PoE 5, it's got five ports, and I'm plugged into Ethernet 0 at this moment. Now, if I go into um, my command prompt, I am not, I am not, I am not getting an IP address on my Ethernet adapter. So this definitely does need a static IP. I'm going to go into my network sharing center here and uh, change network adapter and I have to assign a static IP address to this so let's go in here this is an unidentified network and there's no DHCP turned on and that's that's the problem the router doesn't have DHCP turned on so I need to go in here and do this manually now uh, edge router default ID you can see here 192.168.1.1 and username and password are UBNT so I need to put it in that range 192.168.1.2 255.255.255.0 and at this point I don't need a default gateway so we're going to click OK and OK and we're going to close this and if I go back and run IP config you can see now that my Ethernet adapter has an IP address 192.168.1.2 OK so we're going to close that we're going to close this and we are going to open up another browser window 192.168.1.1 this is the default IP address there we go we're going to go advanced and so this is the router username and password UBNT for both the username and password agree to the terms and log in now first thing we need to look at is uh, version 1.2 this is not a version that you want this is uh, uh, there is a ton of features and the one that we we, we need desperately is a wizard here uh, which means it makes the initial configuration way easier so we don't have a wizard tab we're on 1.2 so what we're gonna do is go to the ubiquity downloads edge max and so this is a uh, router PoE 5 here we go so our current firmware is 2.06 I'm going to download that and accept and download file and we are going to add a new folder uh, okay new folder new folder new folder right there and call this edge router okay and so we're gonna put it in there so we can find it easily okay save it's downloading 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 wow that's super quick and now we go back in here we are going to uh, upload firmware so down here at the bottom you can see system uh, we are going to scroll down to the bottom of this one. There is a system upgrade, so we're going to upload that. And we got tons of stuff here, but that's what we need. So we're going to upload. And you can see it uploading now. Forty one, forty four. Okay, so you can see my CPU and stuff 
error upgrading upload failed so um, I don't know what the issue with this we're gonna come back to it because I've been having this issue with another router so uh, we'll be back right away okay so we're gonna try something else here I've installed win SCP you can Google this and download this I'm taking my version 2 here and I've copied it over um, so this here is the edge router and this is my computer so I've copied over this firmware uh, file all right so here we are back at the edge router we're gonna go to the CLI you can also use putty and I'm already got a session open so uh, I've been looking at this space and how much is used. Come on, reconnect. UBNT, UBNT. All right, and let's see where I currently am. Okay, so there's the uh, tar file. I'm going to use a command add system image and then the directory home UBNT ER. 100 so this is all case sensitive Two zero eight five five three dot tar and I'm getting this of course from this previous line where I did the um, uh, LS and let's see what's going on here now Well, that is freaking awesome. Uh, so let's uh, reboot and see what happens here. I'm going to go back to the system tab up here. Uh, let's try reboot. See if that's uh, proceed and confirm. Oh. Okay, so it's going to go back for reboot. I'm going to open up a command window here. Uh, this helps determine when this thing is going to come back online. So it's already starting to reboot, hence um, me not being able to ping. I will be right back when this starts to connect. Okay, so I'm starting to get a response here, which means the thing is back and booting. Let's see if I... Have my interface back, great, UBNT, UBNT. That looks like good news. I'm on 2.06, and you notice there's a lot more tabs here, including a wizard. So we want to set this up. Um, okay, that's uh, it. Thanks for watching.